All right, this is the instructional makeup video for Varsity Singers for this year. This first video applies to everybody. It applies to singers, band, and crew. So, before you begin your makeup application, the first thing you have to start with is a clean face. So make sure you have cleansed your face, you've washed it well, that you've applied an oil-free moisturizer, and that you've applied a foundation to your entire face. It should be a matte wear foundation. Um, it can be liquid or it can be mineral powder, but the foundation should cover from your hairline all the way down to your jawline. Please don't take your foundation down on your neck as we don't want to get makeup on your costumes. Um, you know you've got the right shade of foundation if when you stop your foundation here, you can't see a difference between the, your face color and your neckline. So if you need help selecting a good foundation shade, just let me know. I'll be glad to help you with that. After you apply your foundation, you'll want to upset it with powder. And that's how you'll see my faces right now. I've put on foundation, I've put on powder, and if I've noticed anything that sticks out at this point, if anything is noticeable, like dark circles underneath the eyes or a blemish, I've touched it up with a dot of concealer. And I've applied that product, blended it in, and I've reset my face with powder one more time. So that's where we're at. We're ready for the makeup that comes in the Varsity Singer kit and we're going to start with um, eye application. One thing that the singers will be using that band and crew girls will not will be white eyeliner. This is just um, a new product this year that we're going to use to help open up the eyes. It is going to be applied to the lower wet line, which is the part right above your eyelashes. And you're just going to go back and forth on that wet line until you see the white show up. We're even going to take this product just in just a little bit towards the center of the eye just to help open up the eye. So once again, this is a product for singers only. Band and crew girls, you will not be doing this. All right, next we're going to start with eyeshadow. This is our color this year. It's called Tuxedo. It has a white, a gray, and a black. Um, we're going to use the products that just come in the kit. So we're going to start with the sponge tip applicator. Um, if you also have a professional brush set, girls, you may freely use your brushes. But if not, this little tool will work great. We're starting with the middle color, the gray. Grabbing a little bit on one side of the applicator. And that side of the applicator will always be your gray color. We're going to apply this color right here to the inner corner of the eye. It is going to make a dark inner corner, but that is the look that we're going for. It's a really dramatic eye this year. We are only doing dark gray on one third of the inner eye. So we're going to do it and we're going to stop. Then we're going to flip the sponge tip applicator over and on the outside we're going to use the black color. So I'm going to get some of the black. Now this color we're putting on the outside third of the eye. I'm just going to tap it. I'm going to build it up into the crease. And we're going to start to darken this outer eye. Not without any more product, but now I'm going to start to blend it out just a little bit further to make it a little bit of a smoky eye. The darkness stays on the lid, but then as we come out, we start to blend it out just a little bit. This eye look this year is actually going to go from, if you followed your eyebrow around, the eyeshadow should come straight down. And if I took my eye line up, the eyeshadow should stop right here. So our eyeshadows are going to cover this entire area this year. All right? Now we're going to go on to the third color in the palette, which is the white. We're going to use the little brush for the white. We're going to pick that product up. And if you are a singer, I want you to take your white pencil again. And I want you to fill in this center part of the eye with your white pencil. I want you to go below your eyebrow and really highlight that area. Get some white in here. And then I really want you to hit the center part of the eye. Because then when we come back with this white and put it right in the center of the eye, it's going to really help it to pop.
I'm going all the way underneath the eyebrow, out to the black, staying on top of the black, and then I'm going right down the center of the eye. Doing a couple layers of it to really get a silvery effect. All right, your eyeshadows are done for your eye. Now we're going to finish with black eyeliner. Your black eyeliner is going to go right across the top of your lashes. Get in here really close, short little strokes. Don't try to make a line all at once, just little dashes coming out, coming out. And I might even bring it out just a little bit to just help make the corner just a little bit bolder. Okay, so we want just a nice thick black line going right across the top of the lashes. You can go both directions with it to help even out your line and to make sure it's really smooth and really straight and it doesn't look like a bunch of dashes. So you're just going to be going back and forth. Then we're going to get underneath the eyelashes. Remember the white eyeliner went on top of them on the wet line, but on the bottom we're going to get underneath the lashes and we're going to give a little bit of a black line. This line is thinner than the line on the top. And it's always darkest in the outside corner, and it gets lighter and fades away as you move in towards the center of the eye. All right, eye is done. We'll finish off this eye with some mascara on the bottom, and we will teach you in a later video how to apply the false eyelashes to the top, and then to curl them and finish with mascara to blend the two lashes together. It always helps whenever you put on mascara to open your mouth. When you open your mouth, it opens up your eye socket and it helps separate the lashes so that your mascara will go on better. All right, next we're gonna do your cheek color. Your cheek color this year looks like this. You have a little applicator brush or if you have a large professional brush, you're fine. You're just gonna dab it two or three times. We are gonna start right here on the cheekbone and we're going to put the most color right here at the top. I'm going to dab it until I can see it. And then I'm going to go back and forth in a blending motion. I'm going to get a little bit more, tap it until I can see it. And I'm going to go back and forth in a blending motion. Okay? The makeup for, you know, stage makeup should be darker than you normally wear it, but it should not be so dark that you feel like a clown. So for this application, which is first thing in the morning, you know how you're going to arrive at the school on a competition morning, you know, we're going to just apply it so it looks nice, but it doesn't look overly dark. So we're going to stop with that. And then your lips. Um, hopefully your lips have already um, applied some lip balm and they've been moisturized because you just don't want to start this off with a dry lip. So make sure you've got a moisturizer of some kind on your lips. And then we're going to start with lip liner. Our lip liner is neutral. Um, the trick to lip liner is to start with the U on the bottom. Just go back and forth and draw the U. And then in short little strokes, connect it up to the side. Now, do not go all the way to the corner and make a point. If you do, you'll end up looking like the Joker. So then we're going to jump to the top lip. We're going to make the V, the natural V. You'll notice I'm drawing the line right on my natural lip line. And then in short little strokes, you're blending around. So now we have literally outlined our lip, but we're going one step further. We're coloring it in. So then take the pencil. Stick your upper lip out, make it a little firm, and color it in. Same thing with your bottom lip. Make it tight, make it firm. If you need more product, the pencils are retractable, so just twist it up and you'll get more product. And then color it in. 
Okay, this gives a base, a base for your lipstick to hold to, and if your lipstick starts to wear off, we've got a nice shade of color filled in, and we're not just leaving yourself with a line around your lips. Okay, for first thing in the morning, um, I'm gonna teach you a lipstick method that's just called blotting. I don't want you to just put this lipstick on because it's a bright lipstick and it'll look like it's jumping off your face. So I just want you to blot with your lipstick, and that just means we're doing this. Dab, 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 dab. Smack your lips together a couple times. This is gonna give you a really nice color without it being too bright and too dark first thing in the morning. And then, even if it doesn't look quite even yet, once you pick up your lip gloss, wipe off the edge on the edge of the container so you don't get the excess. Take the gloss, fill it in, go all over your lips. It's going to blend out from that blotting method, and your lips are going to be perfect shade, you know, to start the morning. If when you finish this part, you notice, like in my case, my eyebrow isn't too noticeable, it almost disappears, then I would recommend that you get an eyebrow pencil. And once again, just let me know if you need help with this or if you need help matching one. Because an eyebrow pencil we is like the picture frame for the eyes. It defines it. And with doing such a dark eye, we want to make sure that your eyebrows aren't lost and they're still framing your face. So we may need to pick up an eyebrow pencil to help you finish your look. So this is the base look for singers, band, and crew for Varsity Singers, um, minus the false eyelashes for the singers and the extra little um, glitter that we're going to do for singers. So um, watch this video a couple times, practice, do it along with me. You'll get the hang of it. If you need personal instruction or you need personal help, don't hesitate to give me a call.